Hey guys, Hells First here, and tonight made a new build with the Infernal Scythe. Now, if you haven't realized or been told yet that it's been changed a little bit, this is what they've done, okay? Right now, Bloody Reap. Reap all enemies in a five meter radius around you after one second, dealing 382 physical damage. That's based on me, obviously. Follow up with a second swing after 0.5 seconds, dealing physical damage to all enemies hit based on their current health just like fucking blood letter below 40 percent is 848 damage so i wanted to make a build based around using this to gank or to do 1v1 so i did a bunch of dueling against a bunch of people here in the uh nemesis hideout and i figured out this build after all the build i tried works so we're using rending spin. You might ask why. Well, you're always going to hit them at the five meters because they're running, right? So that's 240 versus the 191. So obviously I'm going to use that, and it stops them from being able to heal for as much, which is nice against those healing classes. You'll see that soon. Then deadly chop to debuff their damage resistance by 48, plus it does 537 damage. And of course that to end it off. Now I'm using deep cuts because I want them bleeding non-stop. So we're gonna keep that running that way. On top of this, we are running the Demon Helm, which gives you hush, silence for seven fucking seconds, which is a long fucking time, right? Then I've got it to where I make it last 5% longer. That's how it's getting up there, it's nice. Then the Fiend Robe, okay? Being able to fear them with the fear aura is sick because it makes them run away problem is you're playing a melee you got to catch up to them right but it's going to take them twice if you're right on top of them and of course you want to take the eight percent damage uh, but the demon boots the more you're hurt the faster you run so what i'm doing is i'm waiting until I'm about 50 to 40 percent health popping the demon boots right smacking fucking hush real quick smacking them once then dropping fucking the fearer on them and fucking slapping them with the fucking scythe until they're dead with this deal right here it's fucking nuts so some of the fights depending on who i was fighting i'd start with the silence or maybe i'd wait halfway through um it just depends and you'll see in the fights when i switch it up depending on what i'm fighting but that silence is key because you want to make sure they can't put anything up to stop you from using bloody reap so if you think okay i'm going for the kill right now Let's go ahead and do it quick. All right, fear aura. Then pull out your fucking silence. Then pop the demon boots. Then hit them once when they're in the fear aura. Drop their life a few times with other things. Then smack with bloody weep twice. And they're dead. And obviously beef stew. Because why not? And I was actually beating everybody without food. And then this one dude gave me a challenge. And beat me using roast pork. He had like two hit points left. And I was like, well, that's bullshit. So I ate some beef stew and I just wiped the floor with them. So I want to show you guys this. I steal the win from two of these guys multiple times. It's fucking awesome. I don't know where he's at. It's definitely not going to be a one-shot build, but... Yeah! Silenced him right before E. He couldn't do shit.
Okay, so yeah, again, I don't know. I just don't have it. <laughs> I'm not just fucking it up, like. <laughs> Holy shit! Hurt me a little more, dude. Ready for it. <laughs> oh, as you can see, it is just an absolute fucking monster. It just tears people apart. It's fucking awesome. And I'm hoping you guys enjoyed it. I'm hoping you're going to give it a shot. I'm going to take it out ganking and into some uh, corrupted dungeons. I think it'll do just fine in both of them, considering it's wrecking fucking house against everybody I've played it against. And Bloodletter did awesome, so why won't this? Give it a shot. The plate gives you defense. You got the cloth robe on, but it fears the fuck out of them. It's just a great build. And I popped the Thetford on. It's a good one to run for some damage right off the bat. You could probably get away with a Martlock or a Fort Sterling as well. So thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And as always, until next time, ta-ta.